Wow, this video can only be about six minutes in length, so it's about half length. Cause brought on by the uh, extreme deficit in remaining card space. This is a 16 gigabyte memory card. These videos are 720 resolution, 720p. Does this do, does this do better videos than your Nikon? Well, it does better since the Nikon is on a lower resolution. It can also do better because at the high definition 720p level, um, the Nikon can only go no longer than five minutes, but this thing can go up to 12. What about your... Uh, it's got autofocus, too. What which, about your, uh, your, your Nikon little camera? Well, I didn't want to bring that, but those can... It generates .mov files instead of .avi, which it's no difference. It's just that the videos can be 29 minutes in length. They're very well compressed. So it means basically with your old Fuji FinePix Series 7000 camera, a 29-minute video will chew up 2 gigs of data. Okay. But a video of a similar length of 29 minutes exactly, although zero seconds beyond 29 minutes, it can be only about six to 700 megabytes. So yeah, so it's more compressed. So why want to try using that? Wouldn't that be more compact? And it would, but I got a higher quality resolution in these. Um, what happens? I was thinking about getting one Sony, uh, and it has 1080p. Yeah, well, my Nikon can go up to that, but I have insufficient card space or card speed to do it. Like oh, I this camera, I'm using a Class Six, which is an extra power boost in comparison to the Class Four that I often use. This is a Transcend Class Six, 16 gigabyte memory card. It's got blue labeling. For all my other cameras, I use um, SanDisk Ultra SDHC technology. Is that better or not? Ultra better? is SanDisk's um, line of Class 4 memory cards. Oh. Extreme is Class 10, which could handle it could handle the demands of uh, 1080p, but oh. my computer can't. And it's, you figure, I can live with the lack of quality in exchange for being able to compress the files a lot smaller, you know? Like, what's the difference between 1080p and 720p? I'm not going to know the difference because my computer is not going to be able to keep up with it. So it doesn't, it makes no difference to me. And plus, this video here, the picture aspect of my videos, are not to me as relevant as me talking. The sound of my voice is more important to me. Some videos I shoot entirely in pitch black. So I mean, I'm going not for picture, I'm going for the sound. Uh, yeah, this you, camera's, this you camera's. You ever think of getting a, uh, a video camera? If you can get the little video cameras, maybe. Video uh, cameras, you know, I never thought to invest into that. If it were that or a couple nights visit, at a motel, the Maple Leaf Motel in Littleton, New Hampshire. I would pick that because these can shoot video. Why do I need a camera that's specifically video? Well, does the, maybe the video camera can shoot a more faithful and a whole lot. More yeah, space. and it won't generate as many stares because nobody, as far as everyone's concerned, they think I'm talking to my photo camera. They don't like go, I don't get why is he talking. But with a video camera, people could tell. So that's why people give me, offer up some strange faces. Because yeah, they, they don't know that it's a camp that I'm making a video. I always have to blurt out, oh, it's a video. Yeah, and they're afraid that you're the FBI or something going to take that picture. <laughs> This, see, this video's got a maximum allowable length of about another minute and 20 seconds. And then it will, it might kind of go, oh, actually, you can shoot another 90 seconds. Oh, shoot, 90 seconds, it might go, oh, it ran out, oh, no, 
oh wait, you got 20 seconds. So it does that. It like, it always underestimates how much you have left. So when you finally hit zero, it goes, oh, oh wait a sec, and it kind of scratches and pecks for more room. So when it says, you know, 20 seconds left, when you complete the 20 seconds, it might say five seconds. Oh, and this has got autofocus. My Nikon D90 is um, no autofocus in video mode, and I always, I always um, set it out, focus it to infinity by snapping a long distance photo or two. And then, you know, with the lens zoomed all the way out, zoom it back in, and then it's focused to infinity. Oh, it's gonna hit the end of the video.